At Sonic Steel, we believe in creating quality and making a difference for our customers. For any one of us that loves shipping container homes, you're probably aware of the three main inherent challenges. How to insulate adequately, how to ventilate efficiently, how to resolve the condensation problem. These are not individual challenges, but rather parts of a system that correlate to form an efficient and healthy living space. That said, condensation in container homes is still public enemy number one, which causes discomfort and leads to mold growth within the home if not resolved properly. So why are containers more prone to condensation than normal homes? Containers are built to be air and watertight, which means there are no natural means of air exchange compared to leaks and cracks that exist in a traditional home. So any moisture within the container would potentially form condensation, also called sweating, when certain conditions are met. We all know this phenomenon with a cold can of drink on a warm day. The same thing would be happening on the container's metal walls. Because container walls are fully welded, condensation droplets are trapped in the wall cavity, which would rot out any organic material, timber studs, plasterboards, etc., and promote mold growth inside the home. So how does Sonic Steel address condensation? Our unique ventilation system comprises of two parts. For ventilation, we regulate the humidity level so there is no buildup of excess moisture through the means of heat recovery ventilation, also called HRV. For insulation, we eliminate air gaps within the wall cavity so no moisture can come into contact with the metal surface to form condensation. Let's firstly discuss our ventilation system. Because containers are more airtight than conventional homes, they need to rely on natural ventilation through windows and doors for air exchange, which decreases both thermal efficiency and energy efficiency. This is why we add mechanical ventilation to our system. We use Zender's Heat Recovery Ventilation, or HRV, which brings in fresh filtered air in exchange with stagnant air. Thermal energy is exchanged within the unit to ensure the internal temperature remains constant, as well as keeping the humidity at a pleasant level. So, on a cold winter night, you can keep warm with all the windows shut and still be able to enjoy the ventilated fresh air. Having a HRV ensures a healthy and comfortable living space without the risk of mold growth and also increases thermal and energy efficiency as it reduces the load on your air conditioning system, consuming as little as 8 watts. When it comes to insulating a container, it is trickier than for a conventional home due to the limited width and the corrugated metal walls. To prevent condensation, a precursor to mold growth, moisture must not come into contact with the internal metal surface. To achieve this, we CNC cut cured PUR blocks into the same profiles as the metal wall in order to fill the corrugations, followed by flat PUR panels usually between 35 and 70 millimeters. As a result, the PUR acts as a vapor barrier between the container wall and the interior space, maximizing thermal insulation, sound insulation, as well as minimizing the risk of condensation. So what are the other alternatives? When it comes to container homes, there are three common methods. Bat insulation, extruded polystyrene, also called cool room panels, and spray foam. We choose PUR for its vapor resistance and the superior insulating performance compared to other materials. Although bat insulation is effective in traditional homes, they are vapor permeable, and with the airtight metal walls, the trapped moisture can promote mold growth due to the lack of air circulation. Installing vapor barrier membranes could slow this process, but excess moisture would eventually come into contact with the metal walls and form condensation in certain conditions. EPS insulation panels offers a simple solution for installation, but faces the same issue as there is still air cavity within the walls for condensation to form. Spray foam, closed cell, is one of the best vapor barriers to avoid condensation when applied properly. However, because the foam is created by a chemical reaction, the application must ensure that the ingredients react completely and no residue is left that could cause off-gassing. Also, this is not a consistent process as it depends on atmospheric factors such as temperature, humidity and pressure, and should only be carried out by professionals. So how is Sonic Steel's polyurethane insulation different? 
Our PUR panels are block molded by industry specialists in a controlled environment to ensure quality and consistency. Once cured, the foams are stored for at least 30 days before cutting and installing so there is minimal or no risk of off-gassing. On top of the fully insulated walls and ceiling, we also offer additional insulation underneath the floor to stop the loss of warm or cool air due to draft. At Sonic Steel, we believe in creating quality and making a difference. Our unique ventilation system is the only one on the market that addresses ventilation, insulation and condensation for container homes. Our priority is to build container homes that are healthy, comfortable and energy efficient. So visit us at sonicsteel.com.au now or give us a call today to realize your dream container home.